Welcome to Express Video Learning, presented by Cost Plus Electric Supply. I'm Eric, and I'm here to show you. Today we're talking about Lutron's exciting new cosmetic upgrade to the existing Cassetta system. Cassetta has been a rock-solid entry-level lighting control system for years. Now we have a new cosmetic design that helps it tie in to with what your customers may be expecting. Traditional Cassetta design wasn't terrible, right? But it was a little different. We had some up and down levers, we had on and off, which was a little bit different when it was ganged with other devices. Now with the Diva RF series, we have a more sleek design that would look more like a traditional Diva dimmer or a traditional Decora switch. Let's get into it. Along with the cosmetic changes, there's also a few mechanical changes as well. You notice on the Diva RF series, there is no heat sinks that would be on a traditional dimmer. That makes installation a lot faster, especially in multi-gang situations. Also with the Diva RF series, we have a matching accessory switch that allows from switching from different locations and recall. Then we'll talk quickly about the new Paddle Pico, which is actually going to help you also expand your system, just like you've expected with other Cassetta products. Let's talk about functionality. The Diva RF has a very sleek design that looks just like the old Diva series, which has been the number one Lutron seller for probably 20 years or more. You'll have your same intuitive on-off function like you would a regular Decora switch, and then you would have your slide up and down for your dimming controls. Nice part is it also has a nice LED function that's gonna show you. And why that's important is because remember, with Cassetta, you're gonna have an app control as well, which means your slide position may not always represent your actual dim level, but the LED indicator will always show you what the dim level of your light is going to be. That way you have a physical rendering and also an app rendering of where it's going to be. Now let's talk about accessory controls. Another great upgrade to the Diva RF system is now we have additional control devices other than just a battery operated Pico. So we now have a fully functioning wired accessory switch that allow us to not only uh, recall the last dim level, but also a full tap up to fully brighten and then obviously a tap off that will help you in any existing situations where you want to continue to use a wired system and you don't have to necessarily worry about batteries down the road. Now add in the fact that we now have this paddle Pico to help us also do some of the functionality of on-off control. One tap is going to give us the recalled level. A double tap is going to give us a full brightness level. Now assigning the two together is just like assigning your other Pico and cassetta related switches. So let's go ahead and do that now. So when pairing the new paddle control, make sure you go to the main controller switch. You cannot associate to an accessory switch with any cassetta product. So let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna hold our dimmer in the off position for seven seconds. You'll notice that the light has now come on. We're gonna hold our paddle now in the off position for seven seconds. Once they're paired, you're gonna see the light flash. There we go. Raise and lower. Now our two products are associated. We can do this up to six different times to associate more paddles to our main control. The only disadvantage to the new paddle design is that there is no raise and lower feature. This is only a recall. So you're gonna be able to turn your light off you're gonna turn it back on. It will go to whatever your dimmed level was on your dimmer, or a double tap is gonna take you to the full brightness of your light. That's what the new paddle control is. This is really a great feature for people that wanna have an existing bank of switches that look the same, versus the traditional Pico device of a Cassetta that has a four button design with a favorite scene. Very functional, but sometimes cosmetics win over. Let's briefly cover the wiring. You notice on your main controller, it simply has a black, red, and blue wire with your ground. Your blue is going to be your communication line. Your red is gonna be your leg out to your light. Your black will be your power in on a traditional single pull application. To use it as a three-way, you're gonna notice that we use our black as our power coming in, 
and our red and our blue become our travelers to our other switching location, which we will just match on the other side. In this particular application, we used black to tie the red, and we used red to tie with the black feed, and then we did a black with the blue. So I know it can seem overwhelming, but as long as you understand this, there's always a power coming in and a light going out. That's how three-way systems work. So just as long as you mark your wires appropriately when you take them out of your existing switch boxes, you can't go wrong when you reconnect on the other side. Just make notes of what color you're tying to what color and everything will work just fine. Just remember, it's always gonna be power in on the main control and then switch leg out to your light on the other control. The great feature about Lutron is you can actually bring the power in either side, the switch leg out either side. That will work just fine. It does not matter which direction these units are installed in. And remember, this is just a cosmetic change. Just for those people that didn't necessarily enjoy the way that the original Cassetta switches and Pico controls looked. Now, there is more functionality with the traditional Cassetta pieces. Remember with the Diva series, there is some downfalls to using this product, which is no dimming on the accessory controls, whereas a regular Pico control, you would have up and down dimming capacity plus a favorite scene option. Also with the paddle of device itself, uh, it is simply a recall device, right? Up, on, off, that kind of stuff. Again, no raise and lower, but again, Feature-wise, you can have a paired system without the bridge unit. That's really important to remember with Cassetta systems. You don't always have to tie it to the app. The only reason you would need a bridge system is if you wanted app control. If I merely wanted to do a virtual three-way, you could easily pair a dimmer to a paddle control, and that would work just fine for as long as you need it to. Remember, Lutron rates their batteries for up to 10 years of use before you have to worry about it. I know that I've personally had devices installed for years and I still have never replaced a battery. Remember to like and subscribe so we can send you more updated installation videos and adventures on new products. Remember, I'm Eric and we're here to show you. Thanks for watching Cost Plus Express Video Learning.